simply put, attraction is based on the chemical signals in your brain. That is the scientific explanation. You're attracted to something when that stimulus releases certain chemicals into your brain. <clears throat> that is that can be called attraction in a sense. This also means that certain stimuluses will release attractive chemicals in your brain while others will not. And you can't really consciously control that. You can't just tell your brain to release chemicals to something else. It's not in your control. So biologically, you can't control your attraction. So there was a study that was performed on different groups. I'm not particularly sure on which groups they were performed on, but of those groups, of those people, they showed sexual images or pornography tailored towards heterosexual, gay, lesbian, like everything. And the point of the study was to show the sort of electrical firing in the brain of pedophiles. And what happened was the group that was attracted to children had their like attraction center firing off in the brain. Only when they were looking at <clears throat> porn with children and then everything else, like porn for ev everything else, there was no activity. And once again, it showed on a biological level that attraction is not a choice. We cannot choose what we are, are attracted to. But that leads to my second point, which is that you can't control attraction, but you can control your actions. In a sense, I don't think that most pedophiles want to be pedophiles. I don't think I would want to consciously choose to be attracted to children. But for them, it isn't a choice. The attraction part, that is. What they do with it, that is a choice. Their actions, that is a choice. The fact that they don't have a choice in their attractions does not excuse their actions. And to be honest, I would rather say that it is because of those who act on their sexual impulses, like pedophiles, that make the rest of the pedophilic community just get all the flame. And in a sense, pedophiles who are subjugated, or like, essentially caught, get more scorn from their fellow peers, in a sense, because, yeah, this is basically showing that pedophiles can't control themselves, and I'm sure there are plenty of pedophiles that can control themselves. So, this can also be extrapolated to, like, other attraction the preferences because pedophilia is just a way of attract or it's just how it's just your brain being attracted to different things a different thing a different group of things I just <laughs> I just call it children a group of things anyway this works with any other person and their preferences I think works with fetishes, you can't control, you can't control that. People with feet fetishes, they just like it. I can't control that. As for me personally, I like seeing shoulders. Yeah. It's not necessarily harming anyone which I'm thankful for. But I can't exactly control that. So I'm 
grateful that the thing that I'm attracted to is not incriminating necessarily. <laughs> And also, this also stems just for preferences of the same gender. Like, say, if you're looking at the same heterosexual male, me and him, we're gonna have different tastes. It's pretty certain. So, just keep this in mind the next time you judge someone's attraction and preferences. We can't control attraction. We cannot. We can perhaps influence it a little bit. But you can't control it. <laughs>